Okay, so today we're going to do one of my favorite demonstrations from all of 802, um, and uh, it's called the jumping ring. So let's just do it, see what happens here. And I'll do it again. Okay, so what's happening uh, to make this ring jump? Let's think about this for a minute. Well, I've got a switch here, and when I do this with the switch, I'm sending electricity through this coil. So what happens if I send a current through this coil? Well, that makes a magnetic field. Um, this, is, um, this is sort of a column of, of iron. This is to guide the magnetic field. It's also to guide the ring. So when I have the ring sitting here, and if I, when I turn the, the, the current on, which I'll do in a second, um, I send the current through here, it makes a magnetic field. Now, this is not magnetic. If it were magnetic, it would be sticking to this iron. This is not magnetic, this is just aluminum. But so what happens when I turn the current on, I make a magnetic field, that changes the magnetic flux through this ring. The, the, right now, there's no flux through it. When I turn it on, there's a big flux going through it. I change the flux through this ring. That induces a current in the ring. And now the ring itself is a little magnetic dipole. And according to Lenz's law, the signs are such the current that I send through this ring is going to try and resist the change in flux. It's going to try and reduce the magnetic flux through the ring itself, and that means it's going to set up a force that tries to reduce the magnetic field in here, so which means that that's what happens. So let's go over it again. I send a current through here, makes a magnetic field. Magnetic field send, sends a flux through the ring that makes a current in the ring. The ring itself now is a magnet, and the, the magnetic poles of the two magnet, the magnetic field from the big current back here and the small current back here oppose each other, and which is to say that the magnetic field produced by this coil here um, uh, pushes upwards on the magnetic field produced by the little current in the ring now. What does that mean? It means that the ring tries to, tries to gets pushed away, trying to reduce the flux through it, reduce the flux through it, reduce the flux through it, and it flies off. So I can make this ring jump by sending a current through this coil down here. Okay, so one last thing. I've got a little uh, knob here. It's set at 50. There's zero, there's 50, and there's 100. So we're gonna see what happens if I set it to 100. So let's do it again with uh, this little thing here set to 100. Here we go. All the way up to the ceiling. Um, so this is Faraday's law in action. Um, oh, but now somebody seems to have left me another ring here. So let's, let's just try it with this ring and see whether how it works with this one. Here we go. I've still got it on 100. Here we go, I got it ready to catch it. Wait a minute, what happened? This one is not jumping. What's the difference? They're both aluminum. Neither of them is magnetic. But if I look at them, I can see a difference. This one, the one that did not jump, is cut. So um, for me to show that to you, I've got this sheet of paper here. And what you see is that this ring has a, has a cut through it. Um, which means that electric, no electric current can flow around this ring because of this cut. It's not a continuous ring. It's actually um, um, interrupted by this cut right here. And this one, the original one, is a continuous ring. And so that means if I have this one here and I do this, I'm sending a current through here. It's making a magnetic field, which is going through this cut ring. But because the ring is cut, I can't induce a current in the cut ring. So no current in the cut ring. The cut ring does not become a magnet itself. No magnetic force on the cut ring. Nothing happens. In contrast, with the original ring, as soon as I turn the power on, send a current through there, um, the magnetic field, which is being driven through the center of the, the, the uncut ring, is going to induce a current in it. And that's what happens. And that one almost got me on the head. And here we go. Last time. There we go. And that, as I said, my favorite 802 demonstration.